Hi, everybody. It is October 3rd, 2018. I need to hear from you guys in Arizona. Arizona, particularly. What is happening? The comments that I've received from people in Arizona is that you got some rain, um, but a lot of you were saying that it was nice out. Um, you were glad that you got some rain because you've been suffering drought. But none of you have mentioned that you have been suffering real severe flooding. But I, I want to start with uh, this. This is my liked videos. I liked videos last night of flooding in Arizona. Because I wanted to go back to those videos and do a video today showing that what I am seeing from mainstream media and then what I'm seeing from ordinary people are two very different, dramatically uh, different images. And that's why I need to hear from you because I don't know what is actually happening in Arizona. Here is IntelliCast today. Now, mainstream media has been hyping up Hurricane Rosa. Well, it weakened, but you're still going to get massive, massive flash flooding, not only, not only in Mexico and Arizona, but New Mexico and Colorado and Utah, and even on up into Idaho. Okay. Well, early this morning I went on IntelliCast and I saw um, very little, just pockets of scattered rainfall, and now I am seeing even less. So, they're still putting out warnings of flash flooding. All right. Um, as you can see, you have very little rain and it's not severe at all. Uh, so all of my liked videos are gone. They're just, they are gone. Of everything Arizona. So I put in the search bar again and I wanted to find a particular video that I'm going to show you in a few minutes, but Hurricane Rosa flooding rescues, and it was about rescues in Phoenix. What am I coming up with today? As I'm scrolling through these videos and I'm like, okay, this is what occurred in Phoenix, and then I read and I'm like, no, it's Florence, it's Florence. It's North Carolina. It's um, only one here is about Hurricane Rosa. And it has nothing to do with the rescues. But everything else is Florence or Houston. This is how bad search results are now. So this was the video that I was looking for and I found water rescue and this is 21 minutes long it was a live broadcast of this guy a young guy standing in floodwaters in Scottsdale Arizona and well you see him standing there for a long period of time and I guess the current is so strong that he can't walk Welcome everyone to the Fox 10 and News Now. Okay. Um, it just goes on. And you're wondering what happened here that this guy got caught in these in this flood water. What was he trying to do? You can't really figure it out because most of the time you're just seeing him stand there.
How did he get there? And, well, did the flood waters come up so suddenly that he got trapped right in that particular area? And it looks like, you know, why would a person go, it looks like this is uh, not a street, not a walkway. You can't really figure out what is going on. And based on the water that is, uh, you see the water kind of coming off a little bit of, you know, hitting his leg. But there's not like a huge wake. So how strong is that current? Well, then you go and see this dramatic rescue. Right, these three guys running, and they're getting into the water, and they're going to hook themselves up, and they're going to walk. But as you can see, you know, they're walking fine through this water. Um, all right, well, maybe the current isn't that strong right there. Maybe it's stronger where this guy is. But they get to him. They're standing fine. They don't seem to be, you know, pushed over. It, it, you know, I thought to myself, why, why is that guy just standing there? Why can't he just turn around and walk? Um, so he's not going to do that, and they're going to walk him back. But the, neither, none of the rescues, nobody seems to be fighting the current. They're walking seemingly fine. All right, well, they get him back up, and all right, he's having difficulty walking now. You know, then I came across this video. And this is a storm chasing video, not for broadcast. Do not ever share my video on your channel. Otherwise, I'm going to hit you with a copyright strike. All right, this is the dramatic rescue. So I guess, as you can see, here's you know this this uh, cement walk or drive or whatever, and maybe he's walking towards this uh, sidewalk? I don't know. I don't know. But why? I'm, th this doesn't look real to me. I'm sorry. Um, there's something off here. But he's trying to walk across, I guess, to this sidewalk, but then get stuck in an area. He just, what? Did the water come up so abruptly? You know, I can't figure out what this guy intended to do. Okay. He's trying to walk across to the sidewalk. That's what I'm assuming. But then gets stuck in a, it looks like another area. I don't know how this happened, but the water is not that deep. But he's standing there. It gets a little deeper. And then this dramatic rescue. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? I, I just... You know, it's so hard to believe anything anymore, anything that we see. Um, I really do need to hear from you guys in terms of what's happening with this uh, flooding that's going on. This is mainstream media. We have been seeing some dramatic rescues today as sheets of rain fell on the desert southwest. Arizona got the worst of it from remnants of tropical storm Rosa. Here's Carter Evans. Rescue crews pluck drivers from their cars one by one after flood water swamped this busy road in northeast Phoenix. Oh, look at that car's floating. 
Many drivers tried but failed to make it through the murky water coming from a nearby riverbed that overflowed. Daniela Prieto was among those trapped. I had a panic moment, just like the water was coming in in the car and like you just don't know what to do. When the storm drains clogged on this street, the water came up very fast. It caught a lot of drivers off guard. Many of their cars stalled. At one point, the water was above the hoods. The remnants of Tropical Storm Rosa are having an impact across much of Arizona. Washes overflowed, parks turned into lakes, and airports. All right. Very dramatic reporting. At some point, the water was over the top of the roofs of the cars. I have not seen one image where water is above the car. And the videos that I have watched of ordinary people, there's a golf course that had some flooding. There were some streets that were closed off because of um, a few feet, you know, of flooding. And you didn't see, you know, the massive flooding that mainstream media is showing you right here. Now, this is an image that will tell a story to Americans. Oh, my God. You know, the Phoenix area. Yeah, you know, all of Phoenix is sitting under water. But is that true? Well, the water really is not that deep. And granted, a little bit of rain in Arizona, you do get flooding. But have they reported the flooding in Arizona? Like they're reporting the flooding from the remnants of Hurricane Rosa. I think Scottsdale got quite a bit of flooding. Uh, pockets of Phoenix got some flooding. But is it anywhere near what you guys have been hearing for days on end from mainstream media? Based on what I've been hearing from mainstream media? No, it's not. And flooded roads. It's been a wet Tuesday, folks. Team Toll's Adam Bagney has more on the big mess left behind from Rosa. Well, guys, what was left of Rosa brought us plenty of rain and also caused some localized flooding. At 7th and Coral Gables, police told us fire officials had to rescue a woman who was trapped in rushing water. She was shaken but unharmed. And Adon had to stop traffic in both directions at I-17 and Peoria after the underpass flooded. Also, we were at some sandbag stations in Scottsdale where residents were filling up, telling us that water was beginning to seep in to their businesses and apartments. Thankfully, though, there were no reports of any major injuries, just a big mess and a few headaches. Okay. Um, well, a big mess and a few headaches. You got days on end reporting of a hurricane hitting Arizona, or the weakened hurricane into a tropical storm that was going to be flooding out Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Idaho, East uh, Idaho, and even Colorado. And this is what we're looking at. We're looking at, okay? Hardly any rain. But they're still, they are still claiming that you're going to be getting flash flooding in Utah. Remnants, remnants of uh, Hurricane Rosa. This is so unbelievably irresponsible. And um, even, you know, the, the, <laughs> the videos that I have watched, and I've watched a lot of them, this is uh, tracking Rosa. Now, where is it? Mm -mm -mm. It was a the hurricane track channel that had three hours of a cam on Hurricane Rosa, and it didn't even look like much rain came in. And where is that video now? I had it up here. And it doesn't look like. Okay, sorry. Um, 
but a dam. They may have more flooding due to a dam release. Authorities say a lake behind an earthen dam in the southern Arizona desert is swollen with storm runoff and could fail, and residents of a nearby small community were being evacuated. Water levels were within a foot of overtopping um, Menager's Dam, that it could give way if overtopped, resulting in flash flooding in the alley chip um, on Toho no Otum Nation's Reservation, west of Tucson. All right, forecasters are warning of the possibility of more flooding in Phoenix area and elsewhere in Arizona from runoff from remnants of a former tropical storm that dropped a record amount of rain on Phoenix on Monday. They're still calling for more flooding, more flash flooding, and this is what you got. Right here, scattered showers. Um, there's something seriously wrong, and it became very obvious with Hurricane Irma. All of Florida, get out! Mandatory evacuations. The chaos of those evacuations of Florida and what did I get from you guys who live in Florida? Hardly any wind. Your power went out before Irma hit landfall fall, and you were saying that you got very little rain, very little wind, hardly any damage. But the state of Florida had to evacuate because of this incredibly dangerous hurricane, Category 4, which many people, including myself, were pointing out that what they were saying and what our research showed us was it was not a Category 4. Hurricane Florence, same thing. Okay, but they were claiming that after Florence, a week, 10 days after Florence, the flooding in Georgetown, South Carolina, oh, it was imminent. It was a definite, and yet I mentioned in my videos, I think it's very odd that they are not calling for mandatory evacuations when they're calling for a definite 10 feet of flooding of Georgetown. That never happened. That never happened. Oh, the military response was intense. Get down to Myrtle Beach and Georgetown. You're going to have massive, massive flooding like you have never seen before. That came from either the governor or some government official. Now all we can do is just pray. Right? And nothing happened in Georgetown or Myrtle Beach. And you know, there. <laughs> this is Hurricane Florence damaged Myrtle Beach. South Carolina, and this guy goes through Myrtle Beach two days after the hurricane. Down Ocean Boulevard after Hurricane Florence, and you'll notice there's not a whole lot of destruction, of course, flooding that you uh, heard and saw a lot about. Uh, pretty much gone. Any low lying water is drained and went down the storm drains and went out. Uh, completely fine. And then they had to scare the shit out of all of you by claiming the rivers are overflowing, yet the rivers, they claimed, got massive amounts of rainfall from Florence. But you guys in North Carolina, in Central and West North Carolina, were telling me you didn't get hardly any rain. And if you go and check out the records, the rainfall amounts, in those areas, you got what 
anywhere from like one to four inches of rain. And that was enough that they were claiming were going to be flooding out all these areas of South Carolina. Now Conway got hit hard. Nichols got hit hard. Other areas got hit hard. But the hype about Georgetown, excuse me, and Myrtle Beach was incredible. And it must have really, you know, uh, instilled quite a lot of fear you were spared the destruction from the hurricane that was so hyped on mainstream media. But now you're looking at massive flooding that's imminent and definite. And nothing happened. This is so outrageous. It is so irresponsible. It is such an... To listen to this reporting... How dare they do this? How do they live with themselves after they do all of that dramatic reporting and nothing happens? Don't they feel ashamed? I mean, wouldn't you feel ashamed? I would feel ashamed. I would feel so ashamed. So, look, guys. I need to know. Please tell me what happened in Arizona. You guys who live in Phoenix, was it they were talking power outages. They were talking massive flooding. And when you see these mainstream media images, well, you think, okay, massive flooding did happen. Well, uh, based on what I have researched, some at localized areas got quite a lot of flooding. But on the whole, nothing compared to what they were reporting. But the only way that I can have a, a, a real good sense of what happened is from you. Please let me know. And all links are below. This is what we have to live now. This bullshit, hyped, dramatic reporting. And then what they report never manifests. The reality, very different. I, I just don't know what to make of this life we are living.